Later on in this course, we'll show how natural language processing techniques can be used to extract deeper information from human language. Let's now recap what we've learned this week. We actually started with information theory from Shannon that was invented for a totally different context, looked at the concept of mutual information and applied it to the statistics of language, showed how we could summarize documents and discern the best possible keywords using TFIDF, which turned out to be exactly the same thing as mutual information. We figured out the relationship between communication and machine learning in terms of mutual information again and learned the very important naive Bayes classifier which is the foundation for almost all machine learning techniques. Then we summarized with the limits of machine learning both from the information theoretic perspective which also told us which features to use and which not to use and lastly, we ended with some suspicions about whether the bag of words approach that we used just considering words without their grammatical syntax or semantics was actually enough to discern meaning. In future classes, we will ask questions such as where features themselves come from. For the moment, we have chosen features like words and we have labeled past data manually or by experience such as buyers and browsers. In our own lives, however, the labels and the features need to be derived automatically by us as we learn about the world with no supervision or nobody telling us what's a feature and what's not. Before we come to those very interesting ideas, in the world of learning, we'll first take an excursion into big data technology next week as we have promised. We'll describe how the new technologies that were developed in the web world differ significantly from traditional technologies and then we'll do some experiments and assignments of how they can be used for indexing, page rank, computing TFIDF, implementing naive base classifiers, computing mutual information, and all the nice stuff that we've learned so far, including locality sensitive hashing that we did last week. We've learned a lot of theory, done some calculations, and now get ready for doing some implementation and programming. So see you next week, and of course, don't forget to submit your homework by Monday.